Hello ladies and gents, boys and girls around the world, it's Monkey Mid here again for another roundup of Kiss Bootlegs. Uh, how's everyone? I hope everyone caught the show. Uh, I went to a Glasgow on the 16th of July with my friends Phil, Dave and Kate. Where were you John? You missed out there I'm afraid. Um, yeah, great show. Uh, with Kiss these days, I always find you, you know what you're going to get. You know, you know you're going to get the big Las Vegas style, huge explosions, fireworks, flames everywhere, the usual kind of thing. It's kind of predictable, but do you know what? Who cares? It was a good show. Uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was great, and uh, I managed to get down to the front of the uh, the barrier. Um, so I managed to get myself a couple of picks: one for Paul, one from Gene. And there you go. So yeah, that, that was nice. And uh, also the program, uh, very very nice program. Uh, unlike the others in the past, um, they've been the, the ones in the past have been very big and uh, a bit thin, not a lot of pages in it, and the usual sort of crap. But this is a really nice tour book. Granted, it was twenty five pounds, shed load of money, but it was worth it. It really was. Uh, this has basically got sort of like uh, well, you've seen it, and yeah, I mean, it's got. Um, Everything from the beginning, you know, it's got stuff like this. It's got, uh, every page has got like its own year, own tour. So it's got stuff uh, from that particular show, that particular year. Um, so this is really um, a nice program. If you didn't get one, I advise you to get on eBay or somewhere to get one of these, okay? If you didn't get one at the show. Or if you didn't get one at all, just get it. It's a great program. I thoroughly recommend it. So uh, there you go. But... Uh, as I say, I went with uh, my friends, uh, Phil, Dave and Kate up to Glasgow. And I'll tell you what, sometimes I'd rather do something like that than spend hundreds of pounds on some KISS bootleg box set picture disc thing with loads of stuff in it. Sometimes memories mean more um, than things. And I really thoroughly enjoyed um, being up in Glasgow. Um, thank you guys and uh, thanks uh, to everyone for making it such a great time. And a great time it was. And fun enough, while I was up there, uh, before I get into the Kiss bootleg, while I was up there, I went to a record shop with my friend Phil. We walked for miles and miles and miles, it felt like that, from Glasgow town centre. Um, we went to a record shop called Mixed Up Records. And uh, my friend, uh, Mr. Philip Smith, found this for me. I like to get one of these in uh, before I start on the kiss stuff. Uh, this is never mind the bollocks. It's uh, a sealed copy. Sealed, not even open. And um, this is not the first issue. This is uh, probably about the seventh or eighth issue. It's a reissue. So uh, nice to have this. I'm not going to open it. It's going to stay as it is. And uh, I love them. I love Sex Pistols. So thank you very much for Mixed Up Records for. Um, well, why am I thanking you? I've had to pay money for this. <laughs> Anyway, um, very nice find, Mr. Smith. Thank you. Anyway, shall we move on with the bootlegs? Right, guys, I'm going to start off with uh, uh, an old one. Uh, this is something I found from uh, my friend uh, at Discovery Records. Andy, thank you very much, sir. Uh, there you go. Uh, Clone Kiss 1980. This is Clone uh, Germany on the 10th of September 1980 on the Unmasked Tour. Uh, this is uh, volume one, as you can see down there. Volume one, okay. There's four of these. Uh, one of Gene. Um, I'll show you another one later. <coughs> and uh, there's one of Ace, one of uh, Paul, and one of Eric, okay. Um, this is only like a partial uh, show. It starts off with Detroit Rock City, Cold Gen, Strutter, Calling Doctor, Love, Firehouse, Talk to Me, Is That You, 2000 Man, Ace is Solo, and I Was Made for Love New, and New York Groove, okay. So this is an older one. This came out around, I believe, 2015, 2016. I'm sure I'm going to be corrected on that, as per usual. But I do like people that correct me. Otherwise, I'll get all my facts wrong. So anyway, this is the front of it. Uh, this is the back. I don't know if I need to take it out with glare. Um, put that down there. There we go. Okay. Um, I believe this is also only on picture disc, okay? Um, let's get this out anyway. Okay. This is very nice. There is the front. And there is the back. Okay. Front and back. And, uh, oh, I have some of that in here. Let me get this. Let's 
slip this one back in. So that's the picture disc. Um, and it also comes, oh, actually, let me just show you the inside here. Uh, that's the inside. There you go. And you can see on the bottom here, it's got a uh, picture of Ace, Gene, Eric, and Paul. Um, I've got the Gene one, so there we go. So that's the front. Uh, that's the back, okay. There we go. Uh, and it comes with a very nice poster, okay. There we go. I'm going to get some blue tack this afternoon and stick it on my wall. That's what I always do with my posters. My kiss posters. <laughs> That's very nice, sir. Okay. So that is uh, Cologne 1980. Blah, blah, blah. There you go. Yeah, it's all there. Okay. And that's volume one. Okay. So what comes after volume one? It's volume two. There we go. Volume two there. Picture of Ace there. Uh, track listing for this one is Love Guns, Gene Solo, God of Thunder, Eric Solo, God of Thunder, uh, Reprise, Rock and Roll All Night, Shout It Out Loud, King of the Nighttime, World, and then it goes into a dressing room interview. Okay, this is um, one of the 1980 uh, uh, German interviews on TV, which you've seen many a times. I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, Schedler Express. Schedler? I'll probably pronounce that uh, completely wrong. But uh, you know what I mean if you ever get hold of this one. Again, this one say, is an old one. It came out 2016, 2015, something like that. Let me get this out for you. Because I'm good like that. Right. Okay. There it is. Stick that up there. There's the picture list there. Okay. Very nice. And the back of this one is really nice. Okay. You ready for it? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ooh. Okay, nice picture of that. I always like the unmasked period, despite what people say about unmasked uh, being too poppy or whatever. I love the album. You know, that's the thing with Kiss. Every album is different. Uh, up to I would say probably Creatures and everything started to sound the same, really, didn't it? You know, but uh, that's just my opinion. Okay. Right. Let's put this one back in its sleeve and move on to the poster. There we go. There's the poster. So I, I'm guessing uh, all the posters are going to be different for all four um, volumes. Okay, this one's volume two, as I said before. Yeah. Get some blue tack and stick this one on the wall, I think, at some point this afternoon. Haha. <laughs> And that's the rest of it. There's the uh, um, kind of like the, the back sleeve, or the sleeve that supports the, the disc. Open that up. And as you can see, there is a uh, picture of Ace there. That's the one I've got. And the other three are kind of like uh, misted out sort of thing. So this is volume number two. I'll show you the back there. There you go. Okay. Right. So that is Clone, <laughs> Germany, 1980. September the 10th, 1980. <laughs> Um, correction, 30th of September 1980. Why did I say the 10th? I have no idea. It's the 30th of September. Okay. Right, next up, another, another unmasked uh, concert. Nuremberg. There we go. Nuremberg, 1980, the 11th of September 1980. Now, this is uh, a double album. Uh, I thought, oh, great, it's going to be a full show. But uh, Black Diamond is missing from the end. You've got the beginning, where Paul's kind of like just playing the, the guitar bit uh, to Black Diamond. I thought, oh, really? Why didn't we just include the, the whole of Black Diamond and make it a complete show? Um, I actually had a cassette of this, a bootleg cassette, and I dug it out. I played it. It's the same thing. So the person who ever recorded this uh, didn't record Black Diamond, not, the, not all of it anyway. So it's just the guitar intro, okay? Which is a real shame, because the quality is the quality's actually all right on this one. It's, it's pretty good. Oh, sorry. The quality on, on Clone as well is really good, okay? Not as good as Egos at the Stake. If you want a 1980s show, the Egos at the Stake would be the one I'd go for, but uh, it's not bad. Uh, but Nuremberg is is a good is a good quality um, uh, 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 bootleg. So there you have it. Nice picture. As I say, it's a double album. That's the front. That is the back. Okay. 
Okay, full show, nearly. All right, let's get this out. Nothing interesting about this one, really. I just got the standard black vinyl because uh, I'm kind of like a regular kind of guy. Uh, so there you go, I went for black. This does come in red, orange and green. Possibly I think came in yellow as well or something like that. Um, but because there's so many coloured um, bootlegs, I just tend to go for the black. There's more colour than, than, than black um, uh, coloured vinyls really. So um, I won't show you the other album, it's exactly the same. And it does come with a inner sheet, okay? There you go. Oh. 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 Which is very nice, okay? And on the other side we have all this kind of like the uh, newspaper cuttings, uh, sort of flyers for the concert. Um, I'll bring that bit nearer. It's also got merchandise sheet, okay? So this, this is quite nice, okay? Um, and if you're lucky, you can still get this one uh, on eBay. Oh shit, eBay, they don't sell bootlegs. Bollocks. Try and get this if you can, it is nice. Uh, I love the picture, I love the way it's all been designed. Very, very good. So um, that is it, Nuremberg 1980. It's as simple as that, that is a title, okay? And there's the back of it. So very, very nice. Let's move on. Okay, next one, okay. We've all seen this one, which is Hydraulic Rock, which is San Francisco 77. Uh, they've reissued this one, okay? Actually, I've got a feeling this was the reissue, okay? You, you might want to correct me on that, all right? Um, and I've reviewed that one a few videos ago. And this one came out, okay? 50 million KISS fans can't be wrong. Is that 50 million? 5 million? 500 million? 5,000 million? 50 million, I think. <laughs> I'm sure you lot will correct me at some point. Um, so I've got a feeling this was the first one that came out and then Hydraulic Rock came out, or was it the other way around? I can't remember. But it's, this is an older one anyway. And it's got a yellow sticker there. Mm, I wonder what that means. I think that means it's gonna be a colored vinyl. I couldn't get this one on black, otherwise I would have done. Uh, but it's uh, a yellow vinyl. And it's the same show, San Francisco 77. This is a double album, full show. The only difference between this one and the Hydraulic Rock is there's an Elvis track at the beginning. Uh, all shook up, I think, I can't remember. I haven't played it for a little while, this one. Um, and then it ends with, I think there's like a, uh, yeah, Elvis death report. So it's like a news report on Elvis. Um, now, funny enough, um, I think it's the same as Hydraulic Rock, but uh, Beth, they've got Beth from Houston on the 2nd of September, uh, 1977. Because um, between Detroit Rock City and Black Diamond, Beth wasn't included on um, San Francisco 77. So they dragged it out from um, Houston uh, 77, September the 2nd, and put it on there, which is a bit odd. Uh, just leave it as San Francisco and I don't have to put a, another song from another concert but it kind of like messes it up a little bit or am I being too OCD <laughs> probably being too OCD really so uh, there you go that is um, 50 500 million trillion billion kiss fans can't be wrong uh, and as you can tell this covers based on the Elvis album which is 50 million billion billion Elvis fans whatever Elvis followers can't be wrong and I think Motorhead did a bootleg album uh, looking like this, this sort of style with loads of lemmies on the front. Am I right, Mr. Smith? I could be, yeah. But anyway, that's the front. And that's the back. Okay. And the quality is perfect. Okay, let's have a quick look. Uh, again, a bit boring, this one. Um, I've said this many a times. I wish people or the bootleggers would make some kind of effort with the labels, but this is just a white label, yellow vinyl, so... Um, I wouldn't even bother showing you the other one. Other uh, disc, because it's the same, exactly the same. Put that there. Uh, but it does come with a poster. There we go. Look at that, okay. It's got Elvis there, that'll be the day he uh, passed away. I don't think so. I'll be getting the sellotape for this one. I'll be uh, sticking this on the wall. <laughs> there you go. So that's the poster. And there's the album. That's the front. And that's the back. So I think, I think this one came out around 2017, 2016, 2017. An older one again, sort of thing. So um, there you go. So that's, um, that's that. That's San Francisco 77. Right, moving on. 
Whoa. Kiss Outtakes 1. Wow, what an album this is. Okay, the stuff on here has come from Gene's Vault. Okay, uh, I don't know much about the Gene's uh, Vault thing. I read up on it. I wasn't really that interested. Not when you've got to pay $2,000 starting to have Mr. Simmons come round to you and play for you. Well, you'll probably be the servant for the day. You'll be having to, you have to serve him cups of tea and sandwiches probably. But I'm not paying that man to come round to my house and dirty my carpets. So uh, some of the um, stuff from Gene's Vault is actually on here, okay? Uh, this is Outtakes 1, so I'm guessing there's going to be an Outtakes 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's hope so. And this is amazing. Let me just read the track listing for you. It's uh, Gene Simmons... Okay, side one. Uh, Going Blind, which is a version I've never heard of. Uh, Eskimo Sun, I've heard of that. Take Me, Baby Driver, See You In Your Dreams, Calling Dr. Love, Love Em and Leave Em. Howling For Your Love on side two. Christening 16, Tunnel of Love, Got Love For Sale, Almost Human... Uh, rocking in the USA and larger than life, but all those songs are versions that I've never heard of, uh, heard of, uh, apart from a couple. But going blind, that that just, oh man, when I put it on the uh, turntable, it just blew my mind. I've never heard of that version, but all this has been taken from Gene's Vault. Okay, don't buy Gene's Vault, buy this. There'll be a second one coming out, I can assure you. Okay, so this album comes with an outer sleeve. Okay, there's a sticker there. Make sure, as I said before, that you get the sticker with it or get this sleeve with it, okay? Plastic sleeve. Let me show you the inside. So this has obviously been done in the style of the first Kiss album, okay? So that's the front. In fact, they used this cover for another bootleg album. I believe it's Cleveland 74, okay? But still, really cool. So that's the front. That is the back, okay? Front, back. That has an inner. Uh, yeah. So let's put that down here for that. All that. It's got all the lyrics and everything. Uh, that. And this one, I think, if you hunt around online, you can still get this. This is about twenty-five, thirty-pound album. Well worth having, definitely. Okay. It only comes in one color, and that is like a. It comes in sort of like a purple. Okay. There you go. I quite like that. It's clever. It's like a reel-to-reel, -reel, a picture of a reel-to-reel. -reel. That's really, really nice. Okay, but I say all the songs that I have just uh, mentioned, they are completely different. Um, it's just, I think like, a lot of them were demos and uh, um, whatever sort of thing, demo sessions. So, as I say, Going Blind was unbelievable. I've never heard of that. Uh, Love Them and Leave Them is completely different as well. Um, but yeah, just get this. Uh, treat yourself to this one. Just, just get it, and uh, it is a great, um, great album this one okay so that is it that is me done for a little while um, I'll probably come back to you very soon because I've got a lot of new kiss singles okay including this one I'll lick it up that's just come through the post from Jack thank you very much Jack I'll give you another mention when I do the singles um, so um, I will do a singles uh, thing at some point maybe in a couple of weeks uh, in the meantime, look after yourselves and um, I will say goodbye. Ciao and take care. Adios.